Chapter 1. Get lost, you cheater. You are listening at fametv.com. Chapter 1. Get lost, you cheater. On Su Lee's favorite sofa, a male was holding a female in his arms, and the two of them were currently kissing. Both were so absorbed in the kiss that they did not take any notice of their surroundings. Su Lu stood at the doorway. She wasn't sure which emotion she should express anger. Sorrow. Or maybe a bit of both. Before she entered her first year of university, Su Li's mother had told her to never find herself a man who is rich and handsome. Largely because those type of men are dazzling, but also the hardest to handle. Unfortunately, the advice was quickly slammed on the table, mother, I was a muddle headed. Her mother was not all that serious when giving her advice, and even more so was Su Lu as the listener. But thinking about it now, Sulu had to admit that her family's empress dowager was right. Men that are rich and handsome are really no good. Sulu had always felt that life had three melodramatic events. One, when realizing your name was not in the top scorers list. Two, when realizing the bride was not yourself on the wedding night. And three, seeing a familiar face but your relationship with each other is not that good. Sulu has a handsome boyfriend who had a good family background. After graduating from university, Sulu found a job in B-City while her boyfriend worked at his father's company. The two of them even bought an apartment together and planned to settle down together. However, there was another woman currently in the apartment and that woman was sitting on her fiancé's lap. On the same night when her project documents were stolen, her fiancé was also stolen from her by the woman who competed against her since young. Sulu thought both her luck and name were bad that all the events were occurring right in front of her. Su Lu. Zhuang Wei's expression changed when he spotted Se Lu at the doorway. Immediately, Zhuang Wei pushed Lin Qi away and went to Su Li's side before taking her luggage. Didn't you call yesterday and said you won't be back until tomorrow? Was the trip tiring? Su Lu glanced at him once, but she remained silent as her gaze fell onto Lin Qi, who was still seated on the sofa. Lin Chi lifted her nice dot looking chin and smiled charmingly at Su Lu, long time no see, Su Lu. Looking very pleased with herself. Su Lu had a headache. She did not know how different that woman's thoughts were compared to hers. For her to be so pleased to be her fiancé's second, it was as if it was something glorious. She also could not understand how thick dot skinned a man could be to still act innocent when caught red dot handed. It hasn't been that long. Didn't we see each other frequently before graduation? Sulu smiled back and slowly drank a glass of water. Seeming as if she didn't notice Zhuang Wei's expression getting more and more unsettled, where are you currently working at? You still don't know. Lin Qi laughed lightly as her delicate fingers covered her mouth and revealed a flirtatious expression. I'm working at Zhuang Wei's company. I'm currently his assistant. Sula smiled in response and reached for her luggage to get a small box of coffee beans out, before passing the box to Zhuang Wei, it's the coffee beans you enjoy. Zhuang Wei's heartbeat gradually calmed down as he saw the smile on Su Li's face. He's only playing around with another woman, it wasn't a big deal. What man doesn't play around occasionally? Besides, the woman in charge of the house, his wife, would only be Su Lu. This guarantee should be enough to satisfy Su Lu. After tidying up her luggage, Sulu brushed her fringe to the side before raising her chin slightly, Zhuang Wei. I, as a woman, don't want you. That box of coffee beans I just gave you, consider it as a breakup gift. She looked at Zhuang Wei then at the other woman, Lin Qi, since you like second-hand goods, then I will be magnanimous and give this man to you. After speaking she left with her luggage and never looked back. The only thing she was glad about was that both her bank and ID card were already in her luggage, and the way she left didn't look too bad. Su Lu, Zhuang Wei never thought Su Lu would react that way and hurriedly chased after her before pulling her hand, I'm only playing around with that woman. Don't take it so seriously. Playing around to a point where the two of you are cuddling each other. Su Lu shook his hand off and sneered in her mind. It was well known to everyone when Zhuang Wei was wooing her at a university. She thought that this air would be different from other second-gen squanders who only know how to waste money and play around with women. But now, she knew he was no different than them. 
At that time, her eyes must have been blind but now she could finally see things clearly. Shuang Wei knew what Su Li's temper was like but seeing that she was not giving him any face, his expression turned ugly. Don't throw a temper all right, it was Lin Qi who threw herself at me. She cannot be compared to you. A woman who threw herself at you and you still accept her. Then what do you have to still deserve me? Su Li sneered and saw Lin Qi, who came out with ugly expression. I think you two are fated to be pair. Don't come any closer to me, you'll pollute the air around me. Zhuang Wei saw that Su Lu could not be persuaded and his face sunk, Su Lu, don't assume I will always listen and relent to you. If you leave today, then don't you ever come back. Su Lu glanced at him with ridicule and walked towards the entrance of the lift and pushed the down button. After that she turned towards Zhuang Wei, today, once I leave, even if you beg me to, I'll still never come back. Get lost, you squander. Once she left the neighborhood, Sulu got onto a taxi and tiredly closed her eyes. She reminisced the time she spent with Zhuang Wei. She and Zhuang Wei had been together for the past two years. Many of her friends from university were envious of her for having a rich and handsome boyfriend. In this era, where land and gold are valued, the Zhuang family possessed a villa and a company. In the eyes of many women, that type of man was obviously going to be a wealthy husband. But in the past, that wealthy person used to buy her breakfast every morning and would accompany her in her self.study session every evening. In the end, she got together with this heir who easily attracted numerous other girls. Only, she had never thought that her relationship with him would end up like this when one year had not even passed since her graduation. As expected, men that are rich and handsome are not reliable. Su Lu put her hand down and looked at the night view outside from the window. Su Lu lowered her eyes slightly. From now on, when looking for man, it's better to find one who was honest, sincere and ordinary because at least that way she would be at ease even in this world where mistresses roam about. When Su Lu got out of the taxi, she heard her friend's voice, Xiao Lu Lu. She lifted her head and saw her best friend from university, Chen Yu, waving happily at her. Su Li's nose started to sting and she rushed towards her friend, Xiao Yu Yu. I say, would it kill you to not mock my name for a single day? Chen Yu took Su Li's luggage and then stretched Su Li's delicate cheeks, let's go up. When the two of them finally rested on the bed, Chen Yu asked, what happened between you and Zhuang Wei? Only allowed on creativenovels.com, Sula widened her eyes and stared at the ceiling, we broke up. I just got back and happened to catch Shuang Wei and Lin Qi kissing and forgot about me. Sula laughed bitterly, that's why I dumped him. It's Lin Qi again, that loose woman. Chen Yu sat up angrily. Why didn't you slap that cheating couple? What were you thinking? Sula sat up as well and raised her eyebrows, my hands would hurt if slapped them. Anyway, breaking up now is better than getting a divorce after the marriage. She looked at the engagement ring she was wearing on her right hand before taking it off. By the way, if this ring was sold, how much do you think it would worth? Chen Yu carefully studied the ring and concluded, the diamond isn't small, should worth some value. Oh, Sula stroked her chin and placed the diamond ring on the bedside table and spoke after a while, then I'm not too unlucky. Do you know about the student reunion tomorrow? Chen Yu changed the topic after seeing Su Li's expression was not right and poked on Su Li's forehead. I heard senior classmate Wei will be going too. Who's senior classmate Wei? Se Lu asked blankly. Chen Yu carried on poking Su Li's frustrated forehead, senior classmate Wei, older than us, by two years, the famous Wei Chu. Every term he would get the top scholarship and the most handsome president of the student union in a university's history. I heard he's currently managing a listed company, he's already the representative of US graduates. Chen Yu's awe made Su Lu tremble. She swatted Chen Yu's hand away. Wei Chu. Massaging the area that hurt from the poking, she said calmly, I don't recognize him. Xiao Yu Yu, being too infatuated will affect your image. Classmate Su Lu, there would be a day when you die from inadequate information. Che Yu clenched her teeth. Sula raised her eyebrows, ordinary people who live in places where news do not pass will not be pressured by that sentence. It's 2012, you won't make it on the boat, Chen Yu said gravely. 
Sula raised her slim arms, even if I saw Noah's Ark, I will still not get on. You really don't know who senior classmate Wei is. Chen Yu still not giving up. Su Lu felt a bit guilty when looking at Chen Yu and she felt ashamed for not knowing who Wei Chu is, do I have to know who he is? Chen Yu rested her hand on her forehead, don't you remember it was senior Wei who went to receive you on your first year when you just entered university? Su Lu seriously tried to recall, I only remember there was a male student who guided me halfway before leaving. It caused me to have search for the female dorms for most of the day. Chen Yu face stiffened, then, do you remember the event held by the public relation department at the last term of our first year and senior way gave you some guidance? Sula earnestly thought back, you're talking about the person who said I drew the sunflowers badly. Unfortunately, she didn't remember what that person looked like and only remembered that someone had told her that her sunflowers did not have enough vitality. Then how about the first term of second year? At a party when you were drunk, who was the person who carried you back to the dorms? Chen Yu was close to roaring at this point. Su Lu widened her eyes, you're saying the person who carried me back was Senior Wei. Chen Yu saw Su Lu was finally enlightened and happily asked, you remember? Su Lu nodded fiercely, I remember waking up on the second morning with a bump on my head. He must have been the one who caused it, wasn't he? Su Lu mentally sighed. Sure enough, rich and handsome guys cannot be relied on. If they could, then why did she get a bump on her head? Chen Yu gave up and patted Su Lu on the head, kid, go to sleep. Su Lu patted on Chen Yu's shoulder to comfort her. Enough, be good and stop thinking about handsome guys. Tomorrow, I'll accompany you to go shopping, alright? Chen Yu looked at Su Lu in silence. Lying down, she grabbed the duvet for cover and closed her eyes to sleep. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.